In this video, I want to share how to use vibration model with Arduino. So you can use Arduino Uno or you can use Arduino Mega or Nano or any microcontroller you can apply this method. So there are many types of vibration model in the market and you will apply this is how uh, we can use. So vibration model what it does is once you apply the voltage to this device and they will uh, vibrate. This is what we call the vibration motor and there will be two wire and there are many types of the vibration motor. So the, vo so the working voltage for this vibration motor will be 2.5 to 5 volt and the current is 100 milliampere. So that 100 milliampere if you directly supply from this Arduino GPIO pin, then the Arduino GPIO pin can be burned and your IC chip can be burned out. So you will never use directly from this Arduino. Alright, so for safety, we have to use NPN transistor, uh, which is BC547. I will use in this video. And any NPN transistor you can apply, it. And, and one kilo ohm resistor to limit the current from Arduino to the base pin and of course um, we are going to have 3 volt battery uh, you can use up to 5 volt and we're going to use mini breadboard so first of all we have to make sure we have to identify which one is base pin which one is uh, Emitter, which one is collector pin? So I'm gonna put here BC547. So I have made a video there how to identify transistor pins. So, so any digital multimeter you will gonna use first select to diode testing mode. Here, this is diode testing mode, and simply place to pin number one and check it around. So we have 0.667 voltage drop. And if you place this side, there is no diode voltage drop. So the base pin is in the middle. So base two, the pin number one is 0 0.668. Base two, pin number three, 0 0.672. So definitely this is an emitter pin. So we identified this is an emitter pin because of the voltage is more drop. And the first one is collector pin. So first of all, we're going to put a 1 kilo ohm resistor here to the base pin. From the base pin to Arduino digital pin number 9. So this is pin number 9 to base pin, go through it for 1 kilo ohm resistor and vibration motor, vibration motor there is positive and negative so the positive we directly connect to the power supply here so I'm gonna put extra power supply which is battery I get from here so positive from power supply we connect to a vibration positive and um, vibration negative we connect to collector pin of BC547 and negative from power supply we connect to emitter pin so this is a wiring so from emitter pins we have to connect the ground to Arduino ground so the power connection is complete and of course there is power supply I'm going to use two pieces of double A battery positive here and the negative from here so the wiring is complete and we can upload to the code
So I'm going to upload the goal now. So we can see now vibration motor is currently on and off. If we supply directly from Arduino to vibration motor and the vibration motor is quite strong, the current is uh, take quite a lot, the Arduino can be damaged. So this is the reason that why we have to use extra power supply. The time you can adjust as you require and this is how I share. So this is how to use a vibration motor with Arduino.